Welcome back, folks, to some more Stone Prophet. I'm still wandering around aimlessly looking for this. Let me see. If I go straight west, we'll find the obelisk. Let's get a little healing on uh, Ronstock. There's a little hurt. That helped. There's the Wemmick. You can have him join. I'm actually not going to use him right now. I can talk to him so you can at least see him. We need the lady for now. There. Move not. Allow me to study you for a moment. Ah. Fear, but mixed with defiance. Ah, the sweet scent of adventurers on the move. Though the sands of this place have worn and worried your flesh, you are not native to Harakir. Nor am I. Does that surprise you? It should surprise you no more than the scent of an honorable troll surprises me. All in all, your appearance is surprise enough. What uh, are you? <laughs> Who is Raktur? What is Wemmick? Is this your first encounter with one of us? If so, how sad you have not joined us in battle. Pride, clan, and nation, the Wemmick stand strong. Long ago, I roamed far from my pride to seek my prey in the high mountains. Then the mists came. The land warped and turned about me, becoming somewhere else beneath my feet. The where is here. Here. Is Har Akir. You have to look through Har Akir has claimed your time for many years. How do you survive? Without help from the villagers. In Muhar, the frightened huddled in whatever shadows they might find. They wanted not my company. I wanted not theirs. Villagers, bah! They do not even make worthy prey. How have I survived? By cunning and skill. But you know this, for they are your tools as well. Your scent separates you from the villagers as wolves stand apart from sheep. Pardon for asking, but you appear wounded. How did this come about? <sighs> Mistake not wounds for weakness. Each scar I have earned. Symbols of courage worn into my flesh. Of these, the most recent came in a battle with desert trolls. I confess, the beasts near to overwhelm me. I would not have escaped without the help of one of their own number. Explain I cannot. But one of the trolls attacked his own fellows. As my knees faltered and blood ran fresh along my face, he set up. Yes, I recognize the troll who saved my life. Why you chose honor above the company of your own kind is a mystery. You need not explain. Still, I thank you and would repay the debt I owe. So, anyways, we're not going to take him along yet. Uh, I don't plan on him being one of my final party members. Let's go southwest. The Oblush should be very close. All thanks to you, old woman. With you I shall leave the helmet of telepathy. May it, in the eyes of Nefertiti, make your remaining years as kind as this land allows. There! Can you feel it? 
Having led you within the obelisk, my task is complete. The spheres of the heavens are aligned now. The journey set, your journey. Mine is over. Go on alone now. An old woman would but slow you down. It will be difficult enough for you to face what must be faced without protecting me as well. My simple home awaits my return. All thanks to you, old woman. You are to leave the helmet to telepathy, mate. Okay, yeah, you said that. Who's this badass? Hieroglyphics. A heartbeat. A breath. The sounds of life enter these empty halls. I greet you. My thoughts have scratched and turned within this place. Empty and alone now for so long. The only sound has been the sigh of the storms beating against the outer walls. Ah, so wonderful, the scent of mortal flesh. You have come, as the prophecy foretold. Closely creature, be on your guard. What interest is the scent of our flesh? Oh, no harm, no harm to my eye. The stones are cold, the dust dry. The aura of mortal flesh awakens me. Reminds me how long it has been since I became guardian of the stone prophet. It has been my charge to await a time when mortals would approach these stones and attempt to understand them. In obedience to that mission, I speak. After that, I shall forever fade away. Speak of stones. Strange markings at your back. Might you read them for us? Mortal arrogance! With what ease do you expect the fate to prepare your path? It shall not be. For my work is my work, and the knowledge you seek is not mine to give. The writings of the prophet reach back far. Perhaps the writings of the stone are why we have been led to this place. How might these writings be understood? You have come far, and so you must understand this. Courage and daring alone might reveal the secret of the stone prophet. By this I mean that you must travel deep within the others and search them out, these secrets. Three levels rest within, each more difficult than the last. That you have come this far means you have the power to fulfill the prophecy. But be warned, having the power to do something, and being destined to do it, are different things. These stones, do they speak of Octopath? The fate of Harakir does not rest with Octopath alone. True, his role is great, his power frightening to behold. Yet all is not as it seems. A great responsibility has imposed itself upon you, for all those trapped within Harakir suffer. Their fate and yours are bound together, linked by the chains of fate. Only as you succeed might they live. Only in obeying the words of the Stone Prophet might you survive and, in time, return to your beloved home. Do the stones reveal the history of this land, Harakir? The stone prophet concerns itself with the end of things, not with their beginnings. Know you not the age of this land? What wall might hold such history? Mountains would cower before it. The sky might break against its heights. Were I to recount the tale of Harakir, no mortal lifetime could stretch from my first words to my last. One last question before we part. The blind seer who led us to this place, will she make her way safely home? Worry not, for that one has served her purpose. You have yet to do as much. Yes, she shall return safely to her home, and more than that, I shall not say. Fare you well in the way ahead. Though the fate of Harakir rests with you, 
I shall not know the outcome. Having honored my charge to stand as ward and await your arrival, I go now to my rest. Never again shall my voice be heard within these ancient halls. Alright, Green Jesus. Take it easy. I think what we'll do is get the hell away from this wall. Now, Grandma took all my water with her. It looks like. I'm going to go pick up the Wemmick and come back. Uh, I need him to carry stuff, and I like having four party members for now. So we will start the Ablesque in the next video with our Wemmick friend.